Hi Year 2, it's Miss Dunbavin. For today's English lesson, we are going to read The Cautious Caterpillar again. If you think you know the story well enough now, you don't have to listen to it. You can rewind it later if it will help you with your work. If you would like to read along with me or listen, please do. So, it was springtime in the garden. Cody the caterpillar hatched from her egg and crawled onto a big green leaf. She smiled happily. I love being a caterpillar, she said, and began to eat her tasty leaf. Just then, a ladybird flew over. You're very lucky, said the ladybird. When you become a butterfly, you will have wings like me. Flying looks very tiring, said Cody. I wish I could stay as a caterpillar forever. Don't worry, said the ladybird. Having wings is great. You can always stop for a rest. Cody smiled, but didn't feel sure. Maybe one day, she said. She carried on eating and the ladybird flew away. The next day a bee buzzed on over. You're very lucky, said the bee. When you become a butterfly, you will sip nectar like me. I don't think I will like nectar, said Cody. I wish I could stay as a caterpillar forever. Don't worry, said the bee. Drinking nectar is great. It's ever so yummy. Cody smiled but didn't feel sure. Maybe one day, she said. She carried on eating and the bee buzzed away. A few days later, a grasshopper jumped on over. You're very lucky, said the grasshopper. When you become a butterfly, you will have six legs like me. But I like having 16 legs, said Cody. I wish I could stay as a caterpillar forever. Don't worry, said the grasshopper. Having six legs is great. That's plenty for landing on the ground. Cody smiled but didn't feel sure. Maybe one day, she said. She carried on eating and the grass ju hopper jumped away. The next day, Cody was full. She thought about everything her friends had told her and decided to be brave. Maybe today, she said, and she changed herself into a chrysalis. She stayed like that for many days until she was finally ready to leave her chrysalis and become a butterfly. Cody explored the garden, feeling happy and proud of her new wings. Having wings is great, she said, as she flew past the ladybird. This is yummy, she said to the bee, as they sit nectar together. Six legs is plenty, said Cody, as she landed next to the grasshopper. That evening, she came across a caterpillar eating a tasty green leaf. You're very lucky, said Cody. When you have finished eating, you will become a butterfly like me. The caterpillar smiled but didn't look sure. I wish I could stay as a caterpillar for forever, he said. Don't worry, said Cody. I loved being a caterpillar too. But trust me, being a butterfly is great. So, your task for today, year two, is to describe the setting of a story using adjectives which are describing words to show what you might hear, what you can see, what you might smell. If you'd like to challenge yourself, you could also add adverbs to describe the setting further. So, here is a picture of the setting. I've added some adjectives that you could see, hear or smell. So here we have green, warm, fresh, tall, glowing, yellow, shiny, colourful, sweet and tasty. You can use my adjectives, you can use some of them or you can do all of your own. So on a piece of paper now I just want you to write some adjectives at the top of the sheet to help you with your next part of the work. You can pause the video. So this is what I have written using the adjectives I have put in the setting. 
I've highlighted the adjectives in yellow so you can see and I have also added some adverbs. The adverbs are in green. If you would like to add adverbs, that's great. It makes your, in, your writing more interesting. So here's my example. The warm glowing sun shone brightly onto the green grass. The tall yellow sunflowers waved gently in the soft breeze. The insects buzzed calmly drinking the tasty nectar. The sweet smell of the fresh colourful flowers filled the warm air. So, as always, year two, I'm really looking forward to seeing all of your hard work on Class Dojos. See you tomorrow.